Rogers. Unforgettable run when she was a surprise silver medalist at the 2019 world champion. that she's legendary in this stadium. I can't imagine what it's like to run with your face on the Byron Tower. Um, and she said that this year she's never held herself more accountable. She's been working on herself mentally and physically and feels very prepared for these championships. She trained with Ajay when she beat her in Doha, has since left, and now trains with Donovan Brazier. Olivia Baker's on the extreme inside, Emily uh, Richards. And then you have uh, Aikens, Miller, Gloria Ron, the 16-year-old in lane 7 there. We'll tell you more about her in a moment. Final heat of the women's 800. And there's Raven Rogers, third from the left, blue and green. Keep an eye on Kate Grace in lane 8. She's actually the defending Olympic trials champion. And she was the only American to make the Olympic final five years ago in the year. It's coming across in that group of three on the far left there in the blue and green Nike colors. And Raven Rogers loves to run from the front. We've seen the other champions, I think Mo, Ajay Wilson, okay, tucking behind their competition, but Raven likes to push the pace. And so we're seeing her doing that early on in the first round. 27-7 for 200 for these women. So she might not finish her at the end, so let us tell you about the athlete all in red on the left-hand side of your screen. That's just Sophia Gorioron. She only turned 16 on June 20th. What were you doing at 16? Can you imagine running in an in a Olympic trials? The youngest athlete competing in these trials, period. This must be exhilarating for her and her family watching on. The way she's looked this year, she'll be back. So, Raven Rogers uh, has been passed by Olivia Baker, a former Stanford star, but looking very comfortable. And you see the response now by the World Championship silver medal. She wants to be in control with 200 meters to go. And here comes Kate Grace. Grace has surged there off in the third, now pushes through the second. Miller is in the mix. Aikens is there. Here comes Goria on. Top two go through. 129.7 through 600. As the Olympian Grace and the World Championship silver medalist Rogers have the lead. Here comes Aikens. The teenager is pushing hard all in red. She's going to try and do it on time. She won't do it from position. Grace has got some pressure from Aikens. She's going to have to rally there. Oh, Aikens really went well. Two minutes flat, point seven six. I'm intrigued, Dado and Sonia, to see who gets that second spot. Raven Rogers wins, but who was it? Nia Aikens or Kate Grace? It's Kate Grace with the second automatic spot. Aikens was a hundredth of a second behind. So here's a look at the finish. Rogers is going to be comfortably first, but it's the lead for the team. And the Olympian Kate Grace just gets the better of Aikens. So no great surprises there, seeing the world championship silver medalist and five-time NCAA 800 meter champ Raven Rogers with the heat win. So the automatic cues there, the automatic qualifications for the semis with Raven Rogers, Kate Grace. As we mentioned, no great surprise there. I want to tell you that Helen Schlachtenhafen got through on time, and so too did uh, Rebecca Merrill. And some other key qualifiers for you there for the semi-finals of the women's 800. And that is tomorrow. You'll see the semis. The final is on Sunday.